After more than a month on break, Parliament is set to resume, and the Public Accounts Committee has already been sitting for a week now. And today, a number of really key issues came up. You will recall that in the lead up to the 2020 election, you enjoyed some free water. It appears government has not finished fully paying the community water schemes and the Ghana Water Company Limited. And today there's been a directive for government to immediately clear off that debt. And I want to beg you and beg your people to help us to solve a small problem we are encountering at Uibi area water. What is that problem? Well, one of the schemes that were asked to give free water during COVID. Okay. And three, three billion plus. That's, that's 300,000 plus. 300 plus, as I speak, has not been paid. Mm. And we are struggling, so we need, our, we need our money. We are struggling, so we need our money. Sorry, please. You need your money? Yes, please. <laughs> Honorable Minister, together. I'm sure we be area water is not the only uh, water that is suffering. It came up in last year's report. And uh, I'm sure this year, too, the same thing will happen. And uh, your former boss was here to respond that you have uh, written to the Minister of Finance for release of funds. Has the Minister, Minister of Finance released the fund now to be paid to these uh, area water boards, um, the community water schemes? Perhaps one big theme today at the Public Accounts Committee has been the issue of unearned salaries. So the, the unearned salary infractions this year is simply nauseating. Because they colluded. Last week, we found evidence of collusion. They collude, they validate, they take the money, they pass back, they go and collect a share. So somebody should be held accountable. So far, it's this unearned salary is becoming uh, uh, a lot. I think that is, uh, there must be a grand scheme that is going on in the public service. So the head of civil service must be no, made to, to get none of this, this issue, and then we'll find a way to curb it. Um, well, you have to continue to pursue the money from the the, we, we don't have a, there is not a guarantee here. The families too are not cooperating. Uh, once you report the issue to the Yoko, let's see what Yoko will do. The Public Accounts Committee is not happy with recurring infractions in the Auditor General's report on earned salaries, minor procurement bridges. These are things that the Public Accounts Committee have been at pains to stress must end, and they're expecting that in the coming days, when more MDAs appear before the committee to actually review their conduct, as have been reported in the Auditor General's report, these issues will be a thing of the past. Reporting for Joy News, Nikua Asante, Parliament House, Accra.